Time now for our rants and raves of the week, and starting with you, Kelly. Um, so I have a rave for BuzzFeed. Who This is the second week I've had a rave for BuzzFeed. Been doing some great work. Um, they did a story from the World Economic Forum in Davos about the young climate uh, organizers. And AP sent out a photo. This is again about these photos uh, showing uh, four of the young, the, the young organizers, but without Vanessa Nake, but the only That's the one black, the, yeah. the African uh, climate, <laughs> yeah. she's from Uganda. And they cropped the picture. She was there. They just cropped the picture. So you see, that's what the picture is supposed to be. Then they deliberately cropped her and sent it, sent it out. Greta Thunberg, who everybody knows in the middle there, was outraged, sent a note. All of them were actually, but of course, they were framing this around her. And she said, this is ridiculous. Um, this young woman was inspired, she's 23 years old, to be a climate activist because of Greta Thunberg. Really? So you what really think, you would think that they, they would want the, the one African American in that, that African? Did yes. BuzzFeed yeah. catch them doing this? Yeah, so what's no, the... BuzzFeed found out that the AP okay. had the had the photo um, of all five and cropped it. Yeah. And this young woman, when she realized she wasn't in the picture, is very emotional about but, it. By the way, Ben know? Smith, the editor of BuzzFeed, oh, yeah. is yes. leaving to join the New York Times. It is amazing how he's turned BuzzFeed from this sort of punchline, yeah. you know, you think mm -hmm. of dumb cat gifts yeah. or whatever. In in <laughs> seven or eight years, he did yeah. an amazing job. All right, yeah, we Dan. mentioned two stories tonight, right, from, yeah. uh, from them. Yeah. I have a uh, rave for the Boston Globe. Uh, the editor, Brian McGrory, sent out a memo last week that said that after talking to a number of uh, activists in the African-American community, they've decided to uh, uppercase the uh, term black when it is used to describe uh, race and culture. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I think a lot of places have been moving toward over, over time. And uh, I think it's great that the Globe is embracing it. I hope the Associated Press follows suit because their style book mm. is the one that, that Everybody most people follow. Well, maybe when they stop cropping pictures, yeah. they can do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I have a rant for the former uh, Florida Attorney General, Pam Bondi, who is one of President Trump's uh, attorneys uh, presenting evidence uh, this past week on the floor of the Senate in the impeachment trial. She testified or presented evidence, made arguments on Monday and yesterday. Monday I was watching, and I was just struck. She was uh, making the case against Hunter Biden and the Bidens, and she cited as, as evidence several references to the so-called mainstream media. Take a look. The House managers talked about the Bidens of Burisma 400 times but they never gave you the full picture. But here are those who did. The ABC White House reporter, ABC, Good Morning America, The Washington Post, The New York Times. All right, so I always thought that her client thought all of those outlets were fake news. Yeah. Right. I guess not when you're making the case against a political opponent, then they're legitimate yeah, that's, news. That's I it. thought it uh, bent the, meter on, the, the needle on the hypocrisy meter. That reminds me of the House impeachment deliberations when Matt Gates, the super yeah. mega, mega uh, congressman from Florida, was reading into the record the New Yorker piece on Hunter Biden that surfaced a lot of this stuff. It, yeah. It's insane right. that Matt Gates is praising the New oh. Yorker. I want to rave as well. I, I hate to be soft on the globe like we're being here tonight, but I want to rave about a piece that Stephen Ear did for the Boston Globe. Yes. He tends to do their sort of quirky yeah. stories, but he did a piece I really enjoyed reading about the view that you get on the Longfellow Bridge when the red line goes oh, across yeah. it. It is a view yeah. I remember being dazzled by when I first mm -hmm. moved here. And it's, I, for, I, I love journalism that creates a strong sense mm -hmm. of local place. I also love journalism that sort of reminds you of details about where you live that you might have become a year or two, but are actually really magical. Mm -hmm. It was a, a terrific read. I, I loved mm -hmm. it. Interesting. Oh, well, well it. don't feel bad. It was I great. I have a rant for the Boston Globe. Mm. This is not the <laughs> biggest deal in the world, but yesterday's New York Times, uh, Boston Globe opinion pages was a reprint from exactly one year ago mm. on the e-reader. It took them four hours to change it, so Whoa. put that up. So that's from uh, January 30th, 2019. The e-reader was changed sometime yesterday afternoon, and but it, if you look at the e-paper, it still has that up there. Hmm. And so here's, the year's here's, wrong is what you're telling us. All the, yeah. every, all the <laughs> articles were wrong. It was from a year ago. I was going to say the story topics oh. still hold up, but then I saw keep an eye on Kamala Harris. No, yeah. Yeah. All, all I can but say is keep an eye on Kamala Harris. Here's the deal. All they had to do was recognize it. Just yesterday's paper, this, it, they didn't even acknowledge that it happened. And the fact that it's still up on the e-paper hmm. is pretty bizarre.
Anyway, not a big deal, but uh, I would have mentioned it at least if I were the opinion page there. You might have noticed yesterday. <laughs>